enveloped in the darkness of the whale's belly, the darkness of the deep ocean surrounded by the darkness of night, Prophet Yunus السلام, found himself amidst the trial of three layers of darkness. In the story of Prophet Yunus السلام, we're reminded of Allah's infinite mercy, reaching his servants in the deepest and darkest of places. Like the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Prophet Yunus السلام, was rejected by his people during the early days of spreading his message. He was sent to warn them of their wrongdoings, but his people rejected his message and refused to turn away from their actions. In his anger, Prophet Yunus السلام, walked away from his people without permission from Allah. And at that moment, Allah caused a storm to arise, but just as the clouds started to gather, we see a change in events. The people of Prophet Yunus السلام, are alarmed by the storm and begin repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking for forgiveness. Meanwhile, Allah caused the storm to arise in the sea where Prophet Yunus was on a ship. And after a game of draws, the Prophet Yunus is thrown overboard. And by Allah's command, a giant whale swallows the Prophet Yunus السلام, Three days and three nights in three layers of darkness, there inside the dark and acidic belly of the whale, Prophet Yunus lay. Sometimes we too find ourselves in the deepest and darkest of places. Sometimes we see that as being inescapable. But we're reminded by Prophet Yunus' story that even in those dark places, there is refuge, there is hope. Allah is the all-seeing, the all-hearing, and the all-knowing. So in the belly of the whale, Prophet Yunus calls out, فَنَادَى فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ أَن لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ سبحانك. There is no God but you. Glory be to you. Truly, I have been one of the wrongdoers. Acknowledging his wrongdoing, his imperfection, his humanness. There he prayed to Allah for forgiveness and was eventually released from the whale's belly, returning to his people only to find them having repented and accepted the message of Allah's mercy we are reminded over and over again to never give up hope, to trust in Allah's plan, to strive to recognize our shortcomings and to hasten our repentance in asking for forgiveness. Please continue to join us for Maristan's Embracing Resilience series, where we'll delve into stories and of the tribulations and trials of the Qur'an and through them build a better understanding of what we can do when we find ourselves enveloped in darkness.